The PACS is one of the evidence-based alternative communication methods. If it has been identified to be suitable for your child or student, this video will show you how to promote the use of the PACS to encourage fluency and generality. First of all, what is the PACS? The PACS stands for Picture Exchange Communication System that uses specific teaching strategies as well as reinforcement and error correction procedures. The individual using this communication system will exchange pictures for desired items, people, activities, or places. In the advanced stages, the individual will use attributes such as adjectives, verbs, and prepositions to clarify their request as well as to answer questions or comments using pictures. There are six phases of the PECS. The first phase is exchange. In this phase, the individual gives a picture to exchange for a desired item or activity. Phase 2 is distance. The individual gives a picture to exchange for a desired item or activity when the communication partner is in a distance. The third phase is picture discrimination. The individual selects from two or more pictures to ask for their desired items or activities. Phase four is sentence structure. The individual constructs a sentence by saying, I want, followed by the desired item or activity. The individual will then learn to expand their sentences by using attributes such as adjectives, verbs, and prepositions. In phase 5, the individual will answer questions such as, what do you want, by using the PACS. The last phase of the PACS is comments. The individual comments in response to questions such as, what do you see? So why do we want to encourage the use of the PACS in a variety of settings? Because it allows the individual to appropriately ask for desired items and activities. Remember, the PACS does not replace verbal communication. Instead, some learners spontaneously develop speech. It provides reinforcement in the individual's natural environment. It trains the individual to use the PACS more fluently. It teaches functional communication that can reduce maladaptive behavior. It allows individuals to generalize their communication skills across settings and people. Here are some reminders. We should always have the communication book available for the individual so they can easily access the pictures and communicate their needs. Immediacy is very important. As soon as the individual hands us the picture, we should try our best to honor the request so they are more likely to use their pictures in the future. There are some strategies to create more opportunities for the individual to communicate with the PACS. For example, you can pause during a favorite activity. Let's say you are giving your child piggyback rides. Your child is laughing and enjoying. Pause in the middle of the activity. Encourage your child to ask for more piggyback rides with the respective picture. Once you get the picture, provide the requested activity. Another strategy is placing preferred items in sight but out of reach. For instance, you can store cookies or something really preferable on the top shelf where they can be seen but cannot be reached. Allow the individual to ask for the item using the appropriate picture. The last strategy we are going to look at is withholding an item that is necessary for the activity. Enticing with the shoes before going to the park, the TV remote, puzzle pieces can increase the individual's motivation to request using their pictures. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to PAX, which is an alternative communication method for learners of all ages who have various cognitive, physical, and communication challenges. The PAX allows them to communicate using pictures in everyday activities and routines. Some strategies to create more communication opportunities throughout the day are pausing during an activity, placing a preferred item out of reach, and withholding an item necessary for the activity. Remember to always have the communication book available to the individual and honor the request immediately.